Hi my little beauties, in today's video I thought I'd show you something a little bit different to what I normally do. Um, as you can see I've got a mega haul of Adidas trainers and Doc Martin boots. There's, oh, I lost count already but I think 27 pairs in total. I may be wrong on that, I can't remember. Um, works out about £7.40 a pair and these are all men's size 10 and size 11 so it's a good size they're all decent condition they just need a, a nice little clean up um, I've got this kit called Rejuvenator which I was meant to have ready for this video but I forgot I don't know where it is right now so obviously I'll clean them all up make them look presentable picture them, list them, sell them so I'll just give you a little walkthrough of what's here I haven't researched what any of them are worth, but let's just make a little guess at between 20 and 30 pounds a pair. Obviously some could be a lot more, some might not even get that, but I would say 20 pound to 30 pound a pair is a fair, fair amount. I don't know what they are, I'm no shoe expert, I'm just going to hold them up. And unless it says on the label, I'm just going to say Adidas. <laughs> so they're all Adidas and Dot Martin. Anyway, here we go. These ones here are, well, Adidas trainers. Um, I can't understand what that says. Look, Roman num numerals. They're a size 10 and a half. Good condition, just need a clean. So let's just say 20 quid for them. These ones here, size 11, look like, um, like gym or running shoes. Torsion, it says on the bottom. So yeah, that's them ones. I would say 30 quid for them, just unusual. These ones here, size 11. They're like a suede or a soft leather, like really, really soft. These are Oyster 350 Adidas. Really nice condition. Minimum £30, let's say. Size 10 and a half. These are, oh, they look two tone. As you, I doubt you'll be able to see in there, but as you move it around, it changes colour from like green, purple, and blue. And these are Adidas Adi Colour 1 or Adi Colour? I don't know. 10 and a half, 30 quid, let's say. These are Adidas shoes, brown, size 11. Good condition, just need a clean. Loads of wear on all of these. Let's say 30 quid again. Some Adidas boots. What size are these? Size 10. A bit of wear on the bottom, but still plenty of life left in them. Let's say 30 pound for them. Size 11 and a half, Adidas, uh, Adidas ZX Comp, don't know if you can see that, looks like these have hardly been worn, I would say like once or twice maybe, very nice condition, 30 quid I'd say for them. When I look into this, they may end up being worth more because I know some Adidas trainers can um, sell for good money. Um, size 11, some brown Adidas trainers, I think it's brown, I uh, can't pronounce it but I'm going to try, <laughs> Copenhagen, not a clue, I guess I'm just going to say 20 quid for them, they look horrible, these here, Adidas Graham, 
Grand Prix, some blue ones, bit of wear on the bottom, but still plenty of life left in them. These ones here are a size 11, Adidas Grand Prix, 20 quid let's say. These here, Adidas Stan Smith. I have not got a clue, but that name, these are a size 10, white and green, Adidas Stan Smith. I don't know why, but these, I've only just looked at these now. That name is standing out to me for some strange reason. I think I must have seen a YouTube video recently where someone sold a pair of these for some good money. I'll have to look into them, but I think that could be a rare pair. So I'll have to, let's just say 30 quid, but it could be a lot more. These ones here, size 10, Adidas ROM, loads of wear left, red and white, let's just say 30 quid. Again, all these are just guesstimates. And they all get cleaned up as well. Adidas Gazelles. I'm colour blind, so I may um, get these colours wrong. But I would say either like a mustard or a green. Could be way off on that. I guess, let's say £30. These here are like a, a, a cross between shoes and trainers by the looks of it. Adidas Universal. And these are Adidas Originals by the looks of it. And they are a size 10 and a half. Loads of wear, hardly worn. Let's say 30 pound. These are quite unusual and nice. They're like a grey shoe slash trainer with a little bit of yellow detail. Uh, size 11. Let's just say £30 for them. These here are I would say have been worn once. They are amazing condition. 11 and a half Adidas Orion. I'm not a trainer man myself. 30 quid. Just some plain white or cream. Adidas, size 11. Yeah, it was. I'll have to check the codes in the, the tongue when it comes round to listing them to see exactly what ones they are and what the going rate is. But I'm just saying between 20 and 30 for all these just to be safe. But it wouldn't surprise me if these, some of these went for a lot more. Adidas Grand Prix again. Just standard trainers to me. These need a, re a, a very good clean. UK size 10. Loads of wear left on the bottom. Don't know how well you've seen any of this on camera. Very quid. These here. I like these. Don't know why. Adidas. Size 10. It's like a blue and yellow or purple and yellow. 30 quid. Easy mate, easy. Just some standard Adidas trainers. Loads of wear left on the bottom. Just white. Size 10, let's say 20 quid.
All right, these ones here, inside the tongue, it says float like a butterfly. These are Adidas, UK size 10. They're like a, um, maybe an orange. Loads of wear left, really good condition, just need to clean up. Um, let's say 30 quid for these. Alright, some Adidas Gazelles, orange trainers, need a good clean, size 11, loads of wear on the bottom, let's say 30 quid. Alright, some yellow, green and white Adidas Kegler Super, I could be murdering that name. These here need a good clean. Size 10, let's say 20 quid. Now on to the good stuff. Now I do know about these. As you probably know, all I wear is Dot Martens. And these are Oxblood or Cherry Red. Dot Martens with some red laces. Vintage, made in England, eight hole. Oh, and the size is worn off on these. But these here are all between like 10 and 11 and a half. So let's just say a 10, possibly an 11. Made in England, I would say I could easily get between 80 and 100 for them. Can't remember if I've said it, but I paid £230 for this whole entire bundle off one person, which is a friend of mine and my mum and don't know what that stutter was all about. A friend of mine and my mum's, and he collects Adidas trainers. I'm guessing at one point he must have collected Doc Martens as well. But he's selling off his collection because it's getting out of hand. <laughs> it's filled up, but he's got a spare room just filled with trainers. Loads still brand new in the box. Right, again, these are some Doc Martens, eight lace holes, and these are Obviously not the original laces. These ones are a size 11. They're not vintage, these are modern ones, but still between 60 and 80 pound I could get for them just because of the size and the condition. I'll clean all these up, make them look really nice. These ones I like. These are brown boots, Dot Martins. And the size is size 11. And these are made in Vietnam. Dot Martens 11292. Very good condition. These are modern. And looks like these are hardly been worn. There's a different bottom to the usual Dot Martens. I guess, let's say between 60 and 80 for them. And then these are my favourite. Just your standard black ones. These are 10 lace holes. These are modern. And they are. Right, the tag inside is worn off. Let's just say size 11. Cleaned up between 60 and 80. Maybe even 100. I always push the top, top, top end for Dot Martins. And I always achieve it. I once bought a pair of Dot Martens from a car boot for a pound. They had no laces, well worn, holes in the bottom, the leather across the toe, it all split, ripped, come apart. Everyone was laughing at me saying, why would you buy them? You'll never be able to shift them. Boom. Quick sale, 20 quid, pound into 20 for a completely trash pair of Dot Martens. I sell my Dot Martens, I wear Dot Martens all day, every day, 
and I, I, one pair will last me about two years and then I'll buy a new pair. The pair I've worn every day for about two years, completely battered, I still get between 30 and 40 pounds and they fly out. So I have no troubles with selling dog mines. In fact, I love selling them and I love wearing them. I love everything about dog mines. Anyway, so 230 pounds spent. I ain't got the calculator with me. Um, let's just say across the board, on average, £35 a pair and I think there was 27 pairs so whatever 27 times 35 I can't even remember what I said anyway there's good money that's all you need to know um, I may update you in a future video to let you know exactly what each pair went for or ended up getting listed for other than that that's it for today's video something different to what I normally do I just thought I'd try it. I wanted to get this video out ASAP because I wanted to start processing these and get them on my store. So I'll see you on the next video. If you could give it a like and subscribe, comment down below and all that jazz. Alright, see you on the next one. Cheers, bye. <laughs> just a little update. Gonna add um some screenshots in of the Adidas trainers and the um, Doc Martin boots are sold already. So up on the screen now will be a few screenshots. So with these Adidas trainers and Doc Martins, we thought we aimed high on the pricing of these. So we just smashed them out all at the same price and they sold well extremely fast within a week i'm pretty much sold out only got a few pairs left i had 27 pairs of adidas and dot martin boots combined and now i would say i've probably got in stock let me just count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pairs left. So I've sold 17 pairs already. And yeah, lemonade. Don't fucking touch me, mate. Get off. And also another little update, just so you can see the walls I've had built. So if you remember on previous videos, all this was open. So that's one wall built, painted, everything put back. And this here is another wall that's been built, painted and put back. So now me and Joe are separated. There's Connor. Oh, hello. Another little update, spoiling you. Um, just want to say we thank you for your support and all your comments um, and we just want to say that we're not ignoring anyone. I don't know where I'm going to be looking on here. <laughs> yeah, we do <laughs> see every comment and read through them all. We just don't want to be going down the rabbit hole of spending hours commenting back to everyone. But uh, yeah, it's been quite overwhelming the uh, support in all the videos and the amount of views we're getting. But yeah. If you do have questions, we're going to do like question and answer videos eventually, so like they may get get got on to. Um, <laughs> we will now and again reply to a few comments, but we just want to say we do read them all and it is very emotional. <laughs> but um, yeah, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, that was good.